guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is maureen i am a youtuber based in zambia <laughs> youtuber i only have one video it's the second video but anyway it is what it is it is what it is all right so i haven't been posting for a bit because i got busy and i like i forget i'm not i'm not get used to thinking that certain things that i am doing certain things that i'm up to are content so like uh, i think the last time i posted i had a different ring than the one i have right now um so when when my fiance came back we went to look for a ring for me that was the right size because the one that he got was like a size bigger and because i have really skinny fingers it was yeah it was it, it was showing that it's big so i still have it but we just went and got something um that fits better from eternal jewelry zambia shout out to them they are awesome so we got this one i call it the space stone if you are a marvel fan if you're an avengers fan you understand where that name comes from but anyways so today i'm not really doing makeup because my face is on break I've decided to be on a break from t from putting makeup because in a few in a few weeks I'll be putting like heavy makeup on so I decided to just let my skin breathe uh, for now and I, I'm just applying my usual uh, gentle magic uh, face serum so I use the soap and this the lotion and the um, the serum I don't use the mask or the day cream the day cream dries me out so like my face becomes flaky so i don't like that and then for the mask i've just never i've never tried it and right now i am not in the space to experiment because i need my face to be as smooth as it is right now so i only have like a few you know here and there like when you know like once a month that one that comes out but yeah that's pretty much it but anyway so today i'll just be putting like what do you call this hair food and my hair but let me grab the mirror so yes anyway forgive the mirror once again um so today i'm just going to be telling you a story so story time story time let me tell you about my experience with school and why i hated school you people when i tell you that i hated school i hated school okay I hated it so the reason why I hated school is not that I didn't like learning I loved learning I loved learning love going to class you know learning new things a b c d all that stuff all that jazz but since I was young since I was in in rece oh, not reception let me just say baby class since I was in baby class I, I was always the, the taller person, the taller girl, and I was always the daft. So my peoples, they know what the daft is, and they know how dafts are treated. So that's why I hated school. I was bullied when I was in school. It was bad. So I was bullied, and... You know, the cool kids would always make fun of me. They would make fun of my height. They would make fun of my forehead. They made fun of my lips. Made fun of my ears. They made fun of anything that they could. All right? They made fun of all of that. Since since baby class. Since baby class. I can remember from back then, I hated it. Then when I reached like grade 2, grade 3, I just, I never wanted to go to school. And I think people at home... People at home just thought, ah, avu tachabe, you know? So you'd find, like, um, sometimes my dad would be like, no, let me, let me take you to school. The school, <laughs> the school was in the next road. You know those two my schools that are, like, on a house, but they've separated the house, so they are, what, what? So my dad would take me to school. He would drive from our yard and go into the next streets and drop me off and that used to work sometimes but then things go bad all right i hated school like i used to cry in the morning i hated going to school because i just knew that my day would be horrible because they would make fun of me at break or in class or something like that and then 
This one time I came up with a plan. <laughs> came up with a plan. I hid in the closet. So our house had inbuilt closets. So those inbuilt closets are the ones that one of them I went and hid there and I just stayed quiet, quiet. They looked for me in the house. No momo ariqui, momo ariqui. I just stayed in there. So my hope, ah, my hope was that uh, I would like, or they would find me when it's too late for me to go to school. They would be like, ah, I'm going to go to school. Oh, where? I think they found me around like 9 or 10. School started at 8. They found me at 9 or 10 in the closet, hiding. <laughs> The good thing is they never used to beat us. Um, mm -mm. I don't remember being beaten. No. But I think they just laughed at me like in Chani. I was like, I don't want to go to school. I cried, I cried, I cried. But they still dragged me to school. But anyway, that's not the what what. That's that's the beginning of the whole thing. Then I switched schools. Same thing. Mean girls, Chani. I don't even know why they didn't. Why just they didn't leave me alone? Like I didn't even want to be liked by them. All I wanted was to be left alone. Like, just leave me alone. Don't don't try and make my life miserable. Just leave me alone. It's that simple. You know? Just leave me alone. Yeah, so I was at the new school. Same thing happened. Then I changed schools. I switched schools. I went to the school that my sister and my brother were at. So that school wasn't so bad. You know, it wasn't so bad because I had my brother and my sister there. But then there were still mean people and I still hated it. But then at, at this point, I just realized I'm on my own. And like, that, that, that's why even making friends has always been very difficult for me. Because if you ask me, um, genuinely speaking, I only started enjoying going to school when I reached grade 11. Imagine from baby class i was really enjoying going to school in grade 11. and the funny thing is grade 11 i spent most of my days on punishment because of what i was a noise maker because finally i could come out and be the true self that i was because i had a group of friends when <laughs> merinda yeah when merinda when joshua Better the person can now punishment. Kiri kiti if daily take punishment. You know he's making. Ufi kacha biro kudara police. Am I mweyo? How am I on the noise makers list? I just got here. I just got here, bro. But anyway, that was that. Uh, that was that was an epic time. Epic time to be alive. Epic time to be Maureen. But anyway, yeah, I made those friends. We're still friends too now. We always talk and yeah and then i went to uni uni was nice there was no need to be rude to me because i don't have to interact with you i don't have to talk with you but because of how i was um how my my school was like growing up i found it very difficult even to interact with my roommates because i always thought if i start befriending them they're going to be mean to me so I didn't want that so <clears throat> some of my roommates would be like no but why why do you never talk when you're here just quiet but when your friend when, when Nkumbu comes you are very noisy we didn't know that you're around but when 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 you're just here alone or with us you never say anything I'm just like because I okay I, I genuinely don't have anything to say because we don't have that kind of friendship we don't have that kind of relationship so it's it's really um been like that i hardly make friends even in the real world because of the same thing so anyway more of the story of today's video is when your kid suddenly doesn't want to go to school you need to ask them properly not for shouting at them ask them properly why they don't want to go to school you will find this is probably what they they are going through someone is making their school experience bad and they'll become antisocial and it's not that you know how people have made it cute now like oh i'm antisocial uh 
I just don't like making friends. Uh, no. It comes from that. That's where it comes. That, that's the origin story. When I we, when you think about it, when you when you search deep down, you realize that's the origin story of this whole situation. But anyway, it's time for me to to watch uh Infinity War and end game because I just want to relieve the moments when Loki and Iron Man died. I don't know. I, I've just been thinking about them. So, yeah. Let me just do that. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe. And leave a comment. Anything. Just, you know. Yeah. Do the thing. I'll try. I'll try, 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 try. To remember, you know, like. To record certain things. Uh. I'll remember, I will try to remember and I'll be posting them. I'm really sorry that I haven't been posting because I forget, you know, you find that something happens or at the end of my day, I'm like, I should have recorded that. But then it's too late. It's too late to apologize. It's too late. Okay, that's all. Let me eat and watch TV. All right, guys. Bye.